up guys, I'm Carlos Roberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who are new, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell button and you're here because you were aware that I uploaded a video because of it, thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and another thumbs up and more thumbs up and all thumbs up you can give it, please. Sweet. Let's go and do this video. I'll take this jacket off. But before we start this video, I just want to ask you guys to please comment down below what your hair type is and what current hairstyle you're rocking right now because I'm very interested to know all of my hair gang's hairstyles and the hair type that you have so it'll help me be able to make better videos and also targeted videos for everyone's hair type. So let me know, even right now, just down below comment, pause this video and let me know what your hair type is down below, please. Today what I'm gonna be doing is something I haven't done in a long time. This was something that I used to do a lot when I started my YouTube channel. I wanna get back into doing that because it was very fun and also I felt like you guys learned a lot about your hair by me sharing how I styled my hair and doing hair tutorials. So today that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing, a hair tutorial video. And my hair right now is at the perfect length. As you can see the curls right now, waviness a little bit. It's a little bit more wavy right now than curly to be honest with you because that top is a little bit longer. Uh, right now the top is probably, I'd say around five inches, maybe a little bit less than that. But as you can tell, I'm rocking a messy fringe and the waves are just doing its thing. This is my natural uh, hair right here without any product in it at all. Uh, I just blow dried it in the morning just a little bit because I did have to do things in the morning. It's not all about and so today what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is how to do a wavy slick back. And what you have to understand about a wavy slick back is that when you have curly to wavy hair, a slick back means something totally different. It's not gonna be that very tight, classic uh, Brad Pitt and Inglourious Bastard slick back, those straight hair slick backs, because we just don't have the ability to get it that straight. Even if we do straighten it, it still has a different type of texture and wavy hair and curly hair just tend to go up. So it's very hard to try to emulate that when you don't have those hair characteristics, that hair type characteristic. So it's very important to know exactly what your hair is gonna look like when you are trying to do a particular, what is that? You're not on anything. So it's very important to understand exactly what your hair type is and the style that you're trying to emulate and know that it's not going to be exactly it and you can't be disappointed and say my hair sucks because I'm trying to get this very straight slick back and it doesn't work. So that's why today what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you guys how to do it with wavy hair, with curly hair and we're going to be doing this hair gang together. So let's go ahead and start this video. It's two things that I'm going to need, three things I'm going to need. And let's break those down right now. So the first thing is the first thing. So the first thing is gonna be a round brush comb like this. And the one you could get could be ventilated. It could be a little bit smaller. It could be a little bit bigger. It depends on, like I said, your hair type. So for my wavy hair, it isn't super curly. So I'm able to use a nice medium round brush comb this size right here. I'll link some down below in the description. Part of this is dirty. It's just it's just, it's just the way it is. And then we're gonna be using a blow dryer. I have this Revlon blow dryer right here. If you guys are interested in purchasing a blow dryer, this one's amazing and it's been working for me for quite a while now and it works magic and it does what it's supposed to do. And the third thing is this chapter hair styling cream. This chapter hair styling cream. And the reason why I'm gonna be using this is because I do have wavy hair. And like I said, it tends to poof up just a little bit because of the texture, the natural texture, the way our hair just naturally goes about doing its thing and we have to respect that. So I'm gonna be using a matte styling product because it's gonna give me that effect of just a natural slick back. Also chapter allows me to redo my hair and reshape and restructure it if I am outside and the wind hits it or if I just feel like running my fingers through my hair, rip my fingers through my hair, then chapter styling cream allows that as well. So this matte styling cream is super easy and it goes into my wavy hair without pulling it or anything like that and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna be using a brand new scoop of this chapter hair styling cream. And also if you guys are interested in buying some chapter right now, we're doing a six sale and you could buy up to three and get percentage off. So you could buy one for 10%, two for 20 and three for any discount that you're eligible for, it'll automatically apply because I don't want you guys to do any work other than just watch this video and buy chapter. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair, but before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick 360 of my hair. Let's go.
All right, guys, so I'm back and my hair is damp right now. So what we're gonna be doing now is blow drying my hair. I just applied some quick serum, nothing big. I'll apply, I'll put the link down below a serum. It's nothing special. It's just a regular old serum that you get at CVS. So a very important tip about your hair, especially when you're having curly and wavy hair, is that you have to know exactly how your hair functions and works best. So you have to know the characteristics of your hair type. So it's very important to explore different methods of drying and different products and all that good stuff. So, so the biggest tip I wanna share with you guys is never blow dry your hair 100% completely dry. First of all, you wanna make sure that your hair retains its moisture, especially if you have very curly hair or your hair is just super wavy and thick. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your hair has a lot of nice moisture to it and it's absorbing the moisture. So you don't wanna strip that all out by 100% completely blow drying your hair because then your hair is just gonna look very frizzy and it's almost gonna have that fried look. And that's exactly what we wanna stay away when you have wavy to curly hair. So the most important thing is to go ahead and play around with blow drying your hair just a little bit at a time and make sure it's never 100% completely dry and also apply the product when it's slightly damp to manage your hair a little bit better then it'll just become super more manageable and just look absolutely more healthy than if you were to blow dry 100% and then apply the product. This is simply a very easy hack for someone with very curly to wavy hair. So let's go ahead and proceed with this and see how we manage this slick back for wavy hair. Let's go. So just a quick tip, when you are trying to style your hair back, make sure you're also round brushing the back. So start from the front a little bit and then just work your way towards the back and make sure that it's getting brushed all the way so that you can try to get as straight as possible all your waves and also your curls. So try to get all those kinks out by just doing it very, very, very methodically and make sure that you are taking your time and don't burn your hair. Always have it at the medium setting. All right, so just before your hair is 60% dry, make sure you also brush it to the direction you want. My calic forces my hair to go this way, so that's the way you do it. If your calic is different or you have no calic, then you might be able to brush your hair whatever way you want. But the thing is, I'm trying to get my wavy slick back, and this is exactly how it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and move on to the next and final phase, which is applying the product. For me, it's gonna be chapter hair styling cream. Let's go. All right, here we have a brand new jar of chapter hair styling cream, and I'm going to go ahead it's not gonna be that much. If I need more, I'll get it. And also guys, if you want the product to emulsify just a little bit more and a little bit quicker, you can always apply the product that you're gonna use to your hand, grab the blow dryer, put it in the hot setting, and just blow dry your hand just a little bit, just so that it can emulsify. And this will also allow the product to be just a little bit more stickier, which is what we need. So let's go ahead and apply this. You can see there's no trouble running the chapter through my hair. There's no pooling or anything like that. And like I said, the reason why I decided to use a matte product and not a pomade of some sort was just because I want to go for a natural slick back, uh, a natural wavy slick back because it just looks better with wavy hair when you have a very natural looking hairstyle because if you do apply a lot of product and it's super greasy and your hair is curly, it just kind of looks super shiny because of all the coils and just the waves. So I just don't like that feeling and I don't like feeling like I have gunk in my hair. So I'm going, so that's the reason why I'm using a matte styling product. Also for people with wavy hair, sometimes it's very easy just to go ahead and bend down like this and start combing your hair while your hair is falling upwards. And this gives it a little bit more volume and it emphasizes that texture that we naturally have when we have curly and wavy hair. Let me finish this off. <laughs> So guys, this is my wavy slick back that I achieved. Let me give you guys a 360 real fast.
So this is the finished style that I'm going with my wavy slash curly hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful as well. And make sure, and hopefully this inspires you guys to do a wavy slip back for the weekend because it is Friday, guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me at Buy College Alberto if you guys want more of a style inspiration and you want to connect with me there. If you have any questions, go ahead and follow me at Buy College Alberto right here. And also, I'm trying to use the hair hashtag hair gang. So if you guys do go to my Instagram, just comment hashtag hair gang and I'll know you guys are from here. And also down below in the comment section, just let me know that you're here and you're part of this team. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week and don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to comment what your hair type is. That's very important. Otherwise, I'm just going to make bald headed videos and I don't think you want me to do that. Have a good weekend, guys. Peace out.